Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letter Kenny IT. Um, today we're going to take a look at the Aloha Manager uh, POS uh, software. Uh, and the version I'm looking at is version 17.8.0.486. It's a new version out uh, in 2017. Uh, the front of house version is version 12.3.48. Um, I'm using it in a virtual uh, environment here and we have a classroom situation set up. So I just uh, put that up here so you could see uh, the details of the version we're using. Okay, so we're going to start off um, by making sure <coughs> um, that we have a, a, a menu set up. So we're just going to go to maintenance menu, menus. Now, because this is a training environment, we have a number of menus set up, and I'll just show you the one that we're going to use in this classroom situation. That's actually our live classroom uh, menu, but the one we're going to use in class just for practice purposes is uh, the restaurant class menu. And if I go to the layout tab, you can see the different options. We've got beer, soft drinks, wine and champagne. We've starters, mains and sides and desserts. And they're the sub menus that are available. And if you actually hit page down, we have a number of other bits and pieces, books some papers, snacks, hot drinks, cocktails, etc., and um, that are all available there for you. So I'll just close out of that for the moment. Okay, um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up um, some items. So we're going to go to maintenance menu items, maintenance menu items, and we click in here. Okay, um, now there's a few different ways of looking at it. There's, there's this view here where you can see the details of each of the items. And if you click in here and go to grid view, you can see the details in a sort of a spreadsheet format of the different uh, item numbers that are over here. I'll take you back uh, into normal view again. Um, and in here, we'll scroll along. And uh, you can see, for example, in this uh, situation from 100, and it could be different in every system, uh, to... Uh, 200 are starters from 200 I think to 300 are mains uh, side start at 300 uh, etc uh, modifiers and we'll take a look at those later on are at 350 desserts start at 400 and you can scroll down this has a sort of a, a menu that isn't used very often for pizzas um, etc etc and you can scroll down and see we've got cocktails at 500 and generally you sort of keep everything together so it's easy to find different uh, bits and pieces so <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to create some mocktails um, so the position I think we'll make it uh, is I was looking along for a free number um, I think we'll start off at 800. I'm looking here and there's a nice gap between the last number here is 734 and 3999 is the next one used. So there's a nice gap in there. We're going to start off at 800. Okay, so I can see that there. So in here, I'm going to click on uh, new. Okay, and instead of uh, taking number two, which has been offered to me here, I'm going to type in 800. And I'm just going to create a little heading for this thing here. So following the pattern that's always there, I'm going to type in mocktails. And the chip name, etc., should come in. And this is just a little heading to make it easier to find the particular thing we're looking for. Um, so I'll click on save there. Uh, oh, sorry, I need to put in, even though it's just a heading, it, it insists uh, that you actually... Uh, I'm going to put it on under... Not that it really makes much difference. Um, I'll put it in under beer. Okay, and I'll hit save. Uh, I'm not going to update, uh, and I'm just going to say, I don't want to be asked that. We're not going to update the front of house uh, in real time. So we have a little heading in here. So now when I'm looking along through this list here, it should be easy enough to find the mocktails, and I've got a little heading uh, in there for it. Okay, now we'll actually go and create um, the actual mocktails. Um, so I'm going to 